toxic amnesia is where an abusive person will pretend to not remember their abusive behaviour towards you. Abuse amnesia is where someone can perhaps cognitively suppress the abuse episodes because they are simply too painful or they're gaslighted into not remembering the episodes of abuse by their abuser. Abuse amnesia is where the victim does not remember the abuse that they have suffered. Both involve abuse. Both involve forgetting important information. However, the cause behind it is very different. When it comes to toxic amnesia, an abusive person, a narcissistic person, a toxic person will deny hurting you. They will deny something that they've done to you. They will deny lying to you. They will deny stealing from you. They will deny promising you something that they actually did promise to do for you. They can even turn it around and blame you and claim that you're the one that forgot to remind them, which plays on you when you're becoming more forgetful. You then take responsibility for their behaviour and their forgetfulness. Abuse amnesia is when somebody who is being abused physically, psychologically, spiritually, mentally, sexually, verbally, emotionally, through the narcissist gaslighting, through all the stress of the relationship can cause confusion and memory loss. Living in that extreme stress can cause us to find it difficult to concentrate on the simplest of tasks in life. Now we can all just walk into a room and get there and think, what did I come in here for? That's human, we can all do those sorts of things. However, when it's becoming more regular, when you're missing chunks of your memory, this can be a sign that you are suffering from abuse amnesia. One of the best ways to recover from this is by getting away from the abuser, by getting away from the gaslighter, so that you can start to begin to think clearly for yourself. We do not need to remember every painful thing that happens to us. We just need to learn not to go back to the people who cause those painful memories for us.